These figures, they look like those creatures, but they're graceful. Yes, shield, goddesses of protection. The silver box of Ishel was forged in paradise and brought to Earth. Did those creatures make the box? Neither false gods nor zealots shall be allowed to pass. They're protecting it. Is that why they fought me so viciously? Here they keep the box until the sun's renewal. and a heron, like the tattoos on Inaratu's arm. But where's the box? How can these shapes be Incan when they look like airplanes? Oh, I see. They're insects of some sort. Archaeology is a very delicate field of study. You have to put yourself in the mindset of people and cultures who died centuries before you were even born. Humans interpret strange phenomena based on what they already know. If the Inca had seen planes, they might have assumed they were some sort of bird. Given that, these shapes may not be insects after all. Some of them look more like fish. I still can't. Holy Christ. 
They're here. What are they so afraid? This is a penguin lawn ornament, painted and decorated and placed in a location of reverence. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it's so incongruous. The locals wouldn't be able to identify the animal it's intended to represent, and they certainly wouldn't be familiar with the material the statue is made from. There isn't any plastic in Paititi. I'd love to talk to whoever did this and learn why, what they think this penguin is. This cast iron conical mold was mainly used throughout the 60s and 70s to shape small gold ingots. Its unique shape causes the gold to settle at the bottom, separating it from impurities. European firearms. The cultist priests must have used this during their ceremonies to all the crowds. must have had an excellent memory, or worked from a model. Perhaps a weapon stolen from Trinity. This hard hat is decorated with peacock feathers, and what seems to be the likeness of a jaguar.